Welcome to the AmazingRibs.com virtual showroom. This is part one, a walk around and inspection of the Magma Party Size Marine Propane Kettle Grill with AmazingRibs.com's Jim Mayveld. You can read part two, an in-depth review of all the strengths and weaknesses after running temperature tests and cooking on it at AmazingRibs.com at the link in this video. This cooker was sent to us by the manufacturer. Please note that we don't charge to review products. When we're done testing, manufacturers sometimes pick them up, sometimes we give them to fire departments or charities, but we never sell them. This is the Magma Party Size Kettle Grill. Magma grills are a familiar sight around marinas and harbors, both in the U.S. and around the world. Magma Products makes a full line of charcoal and propane grills designed for harsh marine saltwater environments that can eat up regular grills and cookers. The other unique aspect of the Magma grills is that many can be attached directly to your sail or motorboat. This grill is attached to a sailboat on the stern pulpit using the mounting system for one inch rails. The mounting brackets are sold separately and several versions are available for each model depending on the type you may need. The mounting brackets hold the grill firmly, enabling you to use the grill for cooking out in the harbor or at anchor. The type of mounting bracket pictured can be used to mount the grill over the water or over the boat as desired. When installing a grill on a boat, Magma advises you to make sure the cooking surface is level. The grill should be level left and right, as well as front to back. If the grill is not level, Magma advises users that the cooking temperature across the grill grate will not be consistent. Magma started off making charcoal grills. They now have a full line of propane grills. The propane grills use the standard one pound propane cylinders used by many portable grills and camp stoves, but the company sells adapters enabling you to connect large gas tanks too. The cylinder is screwed into the regulator which distributes the gas to the burner and controls the volume of gas and temperature of the grill. To mount the grill on your boat you will screw it into an L bracket that is attached to the rail mount. You will need two 9 inch wrenches or sockets to attach the L bracket to the mounting system. They are not provided with the grill. This takes a bit of muscle and patience and you will need to adjust the connection until you get the grill perfectly level. You may need an extra set of hands to hold the grill while you tighten the bracket. The gas regulator is attached to a venturi tube that is inserted into a threaded pipe at the bottom of the burner. A coupling connects it to the pipe. Make sure you match up the thread on the coupling and pipe to prevent any gas leaks. This coupling can come loose over time and cause the venturi to fall off. The magma grills all have hinged lids that are permanently attached to the grill body. You can cook with the lid open or closed, but the food will cook faster with the lid closed. The lid is weighted to stay open. On the kettle we tested, the lid was attached with stainless steel nuts and bolts. The grill grate and radiant plate can both be removed easily for cleaning. Magma advises to clean the grill frequently, especially before storing it away. The grill bowl will collect grease and other drippings that may seep out of the grill. If the grill is mounted over the boat, you may have to clean up these drippings from time to time. The radiant plate protects the burner from these drippings. Magma suggests using Scotch-Brite pads and dish soap to clean the grill. For stubborn stains, use Easy Off Oven Cleaner. The best way to clean the grill is to remove the venturi and regulator and unscrew the entire grill from the L bracket and clean it off the boat on the pier or elsewhere. It's easy to reassemble the grill. If the L bracket is attached properly, you simply have to screw the grill back onto the bracket and then reattach the venturi and regulator. Next, replace the radiant plate over the burner. Here's another nice feature of the kettle designed specifically for its role as a boat grill. The grill grate has two tabs that fit into clips in the grill bowl. Rotate the grill grate until the tabs fit snugly into the clips. When clipped in, the grate should stay put even when the boat is rocking and rolling. 
Although most of the new magma grills have electric starters, the grill we tested did not have a built-in starter. Lighting the grill requires a flame source. We like to use a long butane stove lighter. Get one with a flexible wand. It enables you to light the grill without removing the grill grate. The regulator is spring-loaded. To turn the gas on, push the knob down and turn it counterclockwise. A diagram on the knob indicates high and low settings. Use the high setting to light the burner. You will hear the gas emitting from the burner. Insert the lighter through the grill and under the radiant plate. You may want to practice this maneuver a couple of times before trying to light the grill. When lit, you will hear the distinct sound of flame. It will be hard to see the flame during the daytime with the radiant plate in place. Feel free to remove the grill grate and radiant plate to light the grill. Rotate the knob on the regulator to adjust the cooking temperature. Turning the knob counterclockwise lowers the temperature. Turning clockwise raises it. With the lid closed, you will feel heat coming from the vents at the top of the grill. To turn off the burner, you have to turn the regulator knob clockwise until it stops, and then push down and turn it a bit further until it stops again. When you release the knob, it should extend higher than before, and you should hear the gas stop. Notice how the regulator knob is spring-loaded. When you push it down, you will hear gas emitting from the burner. Releasing the knob should stop the gas. Make sure there is no gas emitting from the grill before leaving it unattended. When not using the grill, you should remove the propane cylinder and store in a vented locker. Do not store the cylinders or use the grill inside your boat. Propane is heavier than air and can accumulate in the bilges where it can cause an explosion and fire. Magma offers a variety of grills in several sizes for sale in motorboats and custom hardware for mounting. Although you won't be using their products in any barbecue competitions or smoking, they are perfect for harbor cookouts and can even produce a decent char when desired. Part 2 of our review is a hands-on detailed report on AmazingRibs.com at the link in the video. For more virtual showroom videos, cooking demonstrations, and everything you need to know about outdoor cooking. Please subscribe to our email newsletter, Smoke Signals. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Be sure to check out Meathead's amazing rubs and sauce. Or best of all, try a free 30-day trial membership in our Pitmaster Club. Because AmazingRibs.com is the biggest, baddest barbecue website in the universe.